morning everybody, my name's Sandra. I'm the Group Administrator for SUP York, Harrogate and Leeds and I'm also a Co-Administrator of SUP West Yorkshire. Um, we were actually out last night having a training session and one of our leading experts and coaches, Ricky Davison, decided that he was going to deploy my waste flirtation and I want to share with you my views on what happened last night actually and we have a short video of the actual deployment of that flotation device so do stay tuned until the end have a look make your own minds up um, this is my opinion and you may have a different one but let's delve straight in shall we let's have a look so here we are down at jackdaw and this is the device that i'm talking about so on the whole it really does have a nice feel to it i've actually loved wearing this for the last three years it just goes around my waist i've got all of this area freed up i can wear my shorts and i can just wear a t-shirt and i can paddle off and um, i did feel relatively safe actually knowing that i did have a flirtation device on and that i'm a fairly good swimmer um but i don't think that anymore we'll delve into that in a few minutes um one of the things that i would say straight away is when you get it unpack it have a look at it and make sure you know how to actually assemble it and put it on that's key critical it does come with instructions and they're in the pack they're attached to this pack and they're waterproof so again that's really handy uh, one of the things that you do need to do though is be really careful how you repackage this when you're putting it back away one of the things that we found last night is that I've obviously at some point had a look at this um, tried it on and then packaged it away incorrectly and you'll see what went wrong last night when Chucky our expert uh, was trying to get it on and find in the dark all of the relevant bits that you need to pull and what you actually need to do you'll see here that we've got the the gas um well i'm calling it a cylinder the gas cylinder here very tiny it did deploy really well once we got it on uh the cord here was yanked and immediately the thing went up um it's got a little blur thing here so if your gas cylinder didn't um work you have got this but again I'm, I'm losing time all of the time so if I'm in a, an emergency situation have I really got time to be to be doing this no I don't think I have to be honest with you um it's fine if you just need to add a little bit more air and you're flirting whilst you're waiting for the emergency service to arrive I guess it's got a whistle I like that <laughs> and that's attached the one thing that i really loved about it was these bits here and i actually thought that they were lights in the dark um they really shone very brightly so if you're laid on your back waiting for help then you would actually be seen and the color's very bright as well so they're the things that i do like about it um what i don't like about it let's have a look at that shall we okay so the negatives from me uh, now that I've got more knowledge, is how reliable is this device going to be? Is the gas cylinder going to work? Um, I don't know that until I'm in a life-threatening situation. And let's be honest, if I'm out at sea, um, well, one, this isn't really going to help to keep my car warm. And um, secondly, what if the gas cylinder doesn't go off and I need to be floating immediately because I'm injured for whatever reason? Um, so yeah that's really made me think uh, the other things that I'm not sure about is corrosion it's it's very thin it's, it's rubbery plasticky um, I'm not sure how long it would last what if it got punctured would be my other um, concern now which I've never even thought about but yeah um, it could quite easily get a tree just go through it and it deflated immediately um, as I'm traveling down maybe a river and um, my that's my flirtation device gone when I got home last night I looked online and I tried to find a gas cylinder replacement and I found that really difficult in fact I, I couldn't find one last night so I've written to the company that supplied my uh, flirtation device and I'm waiting for a response from them 
So I've been going out for the last three years just with this and no spare cylinder. So I'm, I guess really the question is, would you need a spare? And the answer from me would be yes, you would need to take out a spare gas cylinder. Um, so yeah, they're the things that I'm not really keen on anymore. So as nice as this thing looks, um, I won't be wearing it anymore. So is it ever going to be useful? I guess so. Um, occasionally on a really hot summer's day, if I'm on a canal and I know that I can swim to the side, it might just make me feel a little bit more confident. Um, so I might just wear it just in case. Um, somebody else might need it so I can pass it over to them. But if I was going on a really big lake um, or I was going out to sea uh, or even on a river, would I, would I wear it? Uh, well, the answer from me is no, I wouldn't because I need reliability. I need to be able to trust my product. And the only way that I can do that for me would be to wear a PFD. Um, so yeah, that's what I've invested in. It's a shame because they are really expensive, these things. Um, I think I've looked online now and they're almost about £120. Uh, my brand new PFD, which is absolutely fantastic, was only 113 And I'll be honest with you, I was out last night, it was freezing cold, but it really kept my car warm. Uh, whereas just wearing this as a, a belt without this section on, it's not keeping your car warm at all. You'll see in the video that actually having to try and put this device on in the water maybe isn't as simple as it should be and we did lose some time um, whereas if you already have a PFD on you're instantly you're floating so that's a really big bonus and a big advantage for me and finally before we do watch the video my head wearing this device always went under the water hate it really hate it uh, but now I've got my new PFD my head doesn't go under the water um, I did say final, but actually it's just reminded me one more thing that you do need to be aware of. Yeah, if you're getting back on your board, this is a lot easier than wearing an actual PFD. So if you do decide to invest in a PFD, what I suggest you do is have some training and make sure that you know how to get back on your board safely, because for some of us, it's a lot more difficult to do that. So please, please, please do not go out on your board without knowing full well that if you're wearing a proper PFD that you can get back on your board. Let's have a look at that video, shall we? And see how Chucky performed uh, recently. Let's have a look. Marta. Another shed. <laughs> Carriage then. <laughs> It's like an airplane lift. <laughs> airplane life preserver. The wave in swell has just uh, took you 30 metres downstream. Where's the handle? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Where's the handle? There, just Underneath there. the. Yeah, yeah, that there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it works airplane then. Mode. Is it any good there? Oh. If he's on his on his front, would it turn him back? Oh, yeah, turn him off. Right, now four legs ready. Uh oh. Something else to drive to go. Are they just reflectors? Yeah. yeah. Hey, that is yeah. really good. <laughs> That's what that just chopper on the top can see. Him. Gosh. Oh, um, yeah. Do you need a hand? It's it's staying down. It's reusable, isn't it? You just have to get another canister, don't you? Yeah. The red shoe. Oh, that's no, that's that's, that's your, your manual yeah. manual pump. You should be able to blow, blow it. You say yeah. by yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, you fly. <laughs> That's just like a plane device, isn't it? Yeah. What do you reckon? I don't know. I have read the instructions and I, it does say how you deplete. But I can't oh, I can't get out. Yeah. Oh, that's really that's good. drive home like this. Yeah. <laughs> Double airbag. Uh, it's never been so safe driving home. Now four quid for a new gas canister. Um, and the whole bit's deploying it. Yeah. Once you're in, right. getting it out. Yeah. Be fully conscious. Yeah. <laughs> Conscious for it to work. Um, 
Yeah. Getting it on, it actually was it came out back to front. And then finding the actual uh, toggle to pull. Just a little sure where that was. It's not very big, is it? No, in cold hands, <laughs> hard to grab. Yeah. Not amazing. You can swim in it, but not amazingly. No. Uh, and it's obviously inflatable, so you could puncture it. Give it 10 out of 10 then. No. No. Uh, yeah, I still can't see how you use it unconscious. No, you no, can't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I won't be using it anymore. Yeah, at the same time, we're a boy, Yeah, but they're, hot, they're just not as fun, especially if you're on the sea. You're in your bikini, you're looking too cool, you can't do yeah. it. Image. You look really you good dead <laughs> in a bikini in a walk. Yeah. Right, thank you very much.